Hey y'all, Rhonda here. Part two of our craft days, HSN craft days. Are you ready for this? All right, we're just gonna just get with it. All right, this one is Bright Dots, Enamel Dots, Bright's Fun. All right, so I'll have to check my invoice and double check these because they said um, they may have sent the wrong one. They want me to be happy. So I got these in the pastels. That was on the last video. And you gotta be smart on what you're working with here. Okay, there we go. Noise alert. I should have fixed me some tea. I um, got a new Sips Buy subscription box today. Get rid of that. Oh yeah, these are bright. Let me grab a piece of paper here so I can look at these. All right, so we have our hearts. And those are um, a real pretty pink. I don't know if they're coming across red or pink. But then we have stars and the flowers. And then we have, I don't know if I consider that bright, but anyway, there's the uh, pinks, stars, oops. And then there's the yellow. And then we have the green. I think you can see those all right here. We have the green and the stars, hearts, and flowers. And that's kind of a, kind of a minty green, kind of that, um, what I call vintagey green. And then we have a navy blue. So I love the, the little book cover here. Likey, likey, likey. All right, this is Sunshine Enamel Dots. Let me see how sunshiny it is. These will be really, really, really pretty on a, um, on a shelf all lined up there. Okay. I know. You'd think as many of these as I open, I should be professional. All right. Let's see what we have. What we have. Oh, pretty. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So we have flowers, leaves. I really like that. Okay, we're going to need our paper because these are going to be different. Oh, look at that. Little birdies. Love that. Potted plants. These are just little, um, almost honey colored uh, dots. Little flowers. That's uh, kind of a cactusy type. Southwest, I would kind of say. Just sweet. There's flowers and hearts. Flutterbys. Really cute. And we have rainbows. Oh, you can't have rainbows without the rain, right? So, but I really like that. And then look at the little drops. And, oh, butterflies. Look at those. Very nice. Okay, let's switch sides here. So we have a be happy, wild and free. Um, smile all day. You are magic. Hello, sunshine. Hello, beautiful. Lovely day. Life is good. Loving life, celebrate today. Love, love your face. I like that. So we have these little shapes, and they're like buttons. They have little holes in them. Just little pretty summer stuff. And what happened there? I guess he slipped off a little bit. All right, so stars, rainbows, butterflies. Oh, these are really a lot of fun. Oops, come on. So we have an alphabet. Come on. Alphabet with the different colors behind them. And it's gold. I don't know if you can see the gold. There you go. Gold foiling. Or shimmery gold. And then gold letters. Like it, like it. All right. Where'd, oh, my box over here. over there in case I need it again. This is um, oh, Bobblehead Stamp and Die Favor Box Santa and Elf Elf Come on here I think we're going to have to put the bobbleheads up towards the top of the list, right? You need to comment and let me know what you want to see uh, sooner than later as far as what to make Little stamps and instructions are stuck in here, tucked away. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. And the little treats in the backside. 
Santa and Elf bobbleheads. They are just so smart. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And of course, Diamond Press has the best instructions. Look at them. Oh my word. That is just, that's just too cute. I'm gonna have to clear off my desk a little more because I'm gonna have several things out here where I can just look at them and smile and shake their little bobblehead, you know? <laughs> All right. Oh, and, and a couple of videos ago, I made a, an ephemera holder. Um, and I told you I didn't, wasn't gonna finish it because I wanted to kind of play with it a little bit to see how, how I liked it. Anyway, I'm I'm been thinking about it and messing with it a little bit. Um, I'm definitely going to make some um, probably one page of just thin pockets uh, for the, all the little stuff. So I know I'm going to do that for sure. And I think I'm going to make one um, long one, just one long one for those long skinny cutoff pieces and bits. But um, anyway, if you didn't see see me put this together, um, check back a couple of videos ago. Anyway, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to put something on the front of it. But anyway, just kind of the Feel it out and see what, what we think. All right. This is, oh, gingerbread house. Uh, lift flap gingerbread house. Okay. Oh, that's a good size. Look at that. That is, let's see, that looks like the widest maybe. Um, four inches by about four and a quarter. And then a little gingerbread men uh, or women. Looks like about one, one and five eighths by one and five eighths. Huh. Really? No, 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 no. That's not right. One and, oh, there we go. One and nine sixteenths. There we go. And then one and five eighths. Okay. Well, I wasn't doing something right there. <laughs> all right. Let's see what this is. Oh, looks like they have all kinds. Oh my gosh, look at the little tiny. Oh my goodness. You know, I'm not a little tiny person. Well, I'm not, but little little tiny um, elements that I have to work with. Oh, and there is a, um, looks like a stencil or a, um, what do you call it? A, um, that you cover up. Stamping guide. Okay, that's what they're calling it. Oh, looky, look. Look at all the little pieces for the gingerbread. <gasps> look at the little faces. Oh, and the little tie and scarf and bow tie. Oh my gosh, look how little that is. And the little hair. That's ties and stamps. Oh my goodness. That's, oh my gosh. And we got the kitty and the puppy. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think that's moving up to the top of the list too. I think that'll be a lot of fun. All right, what next? What next, what next? All right, this is a different kind of wrapping. This is Kingston Crafts Holiday Acetate and Vellum Embellishments. <laughs> Having a hard time talking there. So I guess this is where we open it. Because that's where it's taped. Yeah, it's gotta be. Dee, 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 dee. Okay, come on, open says me. Let's try this. Talking about opening, oh my gosh, that's all I've been doing. Well, I was off the past couple of days and then went to work today and just boxes after boxes after boxes. But we've been busy. Oh my goodness, how cute. Kingston Crafts celebrating everyday life. Let's see what this is. Let's get rid of that noisemaker. Oh, so we have two envelopes. What, 460 assorted vellum shapes? 460 assorted acetate shapes. Wow. All right, let's take a quick gander at this. My goodness. Okay, let me just, I'm gonna make a mess here, but I always say never trust a clean crafter, huh? Look at these. I wonder, are these stickers? Does it say? Oh. Does it, look, I can pick stuff up. Okay. It's like it missed a little piece there. No, I think they're just acetate. Yeah, no, they're not stickers. So they're just decorative acetate. Oh, it's got a little boo-boo on it. But oh my gosh, look at all these. I mean, snowflakes and wreaths and 
trees. Oh my, poinsettias. Look at this. This would be fun just to layer. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's candy. Wow. That's wild. Okay, let's see if we can slither these back in there. Man, these would be great for swaps too. You know, if you're doing card swaps. I don't bend. Um, or I mean ephemera swaps. Oh, can't do that. I'm gonna have them all over the place. <laughs> um, I've done some with DNA and uh, DNA creates. And um, so you make little goodie boxes or envelopes or, you know, different things. And then you fill them full of fun stuff. This would be great. Or just send some to a friend. A little slickery. So you can put these on with, um, well, I know uh, with Nouveau Glue because it, it dries clear. A um, little piece of score tape you can use. Let's take a look at these. These are the vellum. So these don't, this is 460 also, but it's not as thick. I guess because the vellum's not as thick. So look at the wreaths. Oh my goodness, and the snowflakes. And the little, whoops, little gingerbread man. Oh my goodness, look at all this. Poinsettias. Oh my goodness, you could just go to town with this. How oh, look at the little gingerbread girl. A little bow in her hair. Oh. Well, this is just fun. Oh, look, there's some ornaments. My goodness, snowflakes. How fun. And you can incorporate, incorporate these in your cards. These would match um, some of that card set that I just um, hauled in the last video. A little mini slimline. Don't want to bend any of these. Because I hate my corners bent. You know, magazines and stuff, I just throw a fit if my corners are bent. <laughs> I know I'm one of those. Okay, that was a little... Well, that was fun. All right. All right. Um, start working on this stack here. This is Stampin' Embossed Folder Holiday Frames. Of course, Diamond Press. we have lucky here oh wow look at these oh love the bird little frames and then let me see wishing you a wonderful Christmas season peace and love wishing you the happiest of holidays may your holiday be filled with joy holiday cheer love that so these are what's the size on these are these um like four by fours, you can make a little. Yeah. Oh, no, four by four and a half. So you could make little, you know, small little cards if you wanted to, or little tags. Oh, these would be fun tags for um, your gifts. So there's that one. Love those. Very nice. But yeah, those would be fun to add to, to gifts. Yes, indeed. All right. This one is Anna Griffin. Oh, this is the um, card toppers. I got these because they're masculine. Let me squish my trash down there. Of course, Anna, she just wraps those up so nicely. Save tissue paper. You can reuse it for gifts or you can um, glue it on paper, wrinkle it up, do a leather look with it, all kinds of stuff. Okay, it's your birthday again. <gasps> These are like bunnies. Um, gotta take it. Anyway, I have these so here again. Oh, there we go. These are very tastefully, elegantly done. Oops, sorry. Anyway, but they're funnies. So here's here's a sample. I'm not gonna get them all out. Um, 
<laughs> didn't you didn't you just have a birthday last year but anyway these are just anyway card toppers I already have the ribbon and stuff on them and then here's all kinds of saying um i'm yours no refunds happy anniversary uh they, these just these just crack me all of these <laughs> there are many benefits of getting older but i don't recall a single one i love you you're just the right amount of <laughs> inappropriate anyway these are just really really cute i love this collection so um anyway i think i picked up some cards too these were on sale so that that's just one of my favorites and i thought why not so this is oh this is collage toppers is this the what were those collage card toppers Man. i got two of them done who knows what i did right I know I gotta get rid of these boxes. Is that one I just opened? Yeah, I guess I did get two of them. <laughs> okay, that's how much I like them. Okay. All right, this is um, is this diamond press? Well, come on, can't even cut a straight line here. You should have seen. I don't know, it just popped in my head. AJ and I had to return that 63 inch TV. Bought it on um, Amazon Prime Days and so excited. Took our TV down and, you know, I had to dust. I had to do all that stuff and get ready for. The, oh, the glue! <laughs> glue tips and tricks. Anyway, I've been, I wanted to, I put this off because I thought, mm, do I really want to try it? I love my glue, but I thought it's diamond press. Why not? So this says regular tip and this says fine tip. And I wonder if there's a difference in glue and the thickness or they're just labeling it so you'll know which is which. This is regular and this says fine. So I bet you, I bet you they're just labeling it to help you. Um, does it just come off? Oh, just come straight off. There you go. Yeah. So, um, oh, and then it has a little needle that goes down in there to keep it. Um, does it go on? There you go. Um, to keep it from getting clogged. Anyway, I bet you it's just labeled so to help you know which you have the fine tip and the and the regular tip. And then here's the glue refill bottle. So yeah, let's look and see what kind of tip this has on it. I mean, you can use that just as so. Oh, it's ready to go. Yeah. So you could just get with it with that. All right. So we have some glue. Yeah, keep cap pin free of glue buildup. If tip gets clogged, remove from bottle and soak in warm water to dissolve. Blockage. After each use, clean all tips with warm water before storing. Best results use small amounts of glue on craft projects. A little goes a long way. Okay, well, we're going to give it a whirl and just see. All right, anyway, so we got the TV all up and ready to go. And AJ Kip wanted to remove the, I may have already told you this story, I don't remember, um, wanted to remove the film on the screen. And I said no, because all over it's like on all the, you know, the instruction, do not touch the, the, front do not touch the you know the screen do not touch do not touch. i'm like okay let's leave it on to the very last minute because in case we you know have to move it a little bit and we don't want to touch it with you know so we get it all done all put it all unpacked put up there everything and aj's like no you know and i'm like no not yet just turn it on she turns it on and it lights up and the screen is shattered so thank goodness i didn't let her um remove that oh more glue I guess I really wanted to, oh, did I open this upside down? I opened this upside down, but there's more glue. So I better like it. That's all I got to say. And if I use that glue, um, I'm probably going to need two boxes of that if I'm going to be making all this stuff, right? Okay, I was going to say, better not be another glue box. This is an antigressive. Um, anyway, so yeah, I was like, you are kidding me. But I'm like, I wasn't surprised because the corners... I mean, like, this is a TV. The corners, all four corners, had this super thick, I mean, heavy-duty, couldn't break it, bend it, poke it foam on the corners. And then the front, the screen, had a piece of plastic, I mean, a piece of cardboard like this, just in front of it, and then it, the box over it. Really? 
And then they expect, you know, because these drivers are, I mean, like, banging, you know, stuff shoving and boxes and all that. So, I don't know what they expect. But, yeah, and I am not exaggerating. It was a piece of cardboard like this to protect it. So, anyway. So, then we had to, I mean, we already plugged it up to all the core, you know, the whole, it was just like, really? So, then we had to get it all and box it back up and everything. So, then, you know, I contact um, Amazon and they're like, here's your label, you know. So, I call for them to come pick it up. Um... UPS and they're like yeah we can come pick it up for $18 and I'm like no it wasn't my fault and no so anyway thank goodness I have that truck well it's reverse and we got it loaded Keith and AJ loaded it in there and I took it down to the um AJ and I took it down to the uh, UPS store <laughs> carried it in there and thank goodness the guy said well is it ready to go and I'm like it probably needs some more tape I ran out of packing tape and and here's the label and he goes I'll take care of everything and you could kind of tell he'd already had a bad morning but he was so nice and everything so we were getting ready to pull out and AJ goes where are we going I said we're gonna go do a Rhonda thing and he she said oh so right across the road was um or is a um country mart so they have a really nice bakery and they have these big beautiful really good cookies of different flavors and so I bought four cookies and a couple bottles of water and we went back over there and a woman was out front and I thought oh I need to see him you know because we just I mean as soon as we dropped that off I drove over there and drove right back and so anyway I he came around the corner and he saw me and he said can I help you so I just walked up there and I set those down there and then AJ put the bottle of water there and I said you're appreciated have a good day so I walked out so I hope he had a better day so anyway AJ's getting used to the Rhonda thing now because I do stuff like that. <laughs> anyway, I did, you know, it's just people have rough days and stuff. They just need to know that they're appreciated. And if it's a bottle of water and a cookie, hey, you know. So envelopes and um, cards that goes with that set that I just showed you from, what is it, Bo? I always say Beauregard. I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, I can't get this off. Um, so, that, I mean, you can use these for anything, but it goes with that collection. Anyway, just very beautiful masculine cards. I mean, aren't these not gorgeous? I mean, these can be used with anything, but these can be ma masculine very easily. Just love these. Gorgeous. And like I said, the envelopes that go with them. And those are, they're five and a half by five and a half. Which I think Anna kind of likes to do different measurements instead of six by six or um what is she likes her slim lines nine by four or something um i think the rest of the world is eight by four and a half i don't know you go anna you just do your thing right all right gotta pick up the pace here i don't want this to be a real long one. Oh, let's see what is this one this is embossing folders stained glass now you're talking do i have you too close or are you okay Okay, let me back you up just a little bit. Hang on. Let's try that. I want to make you sick. So, mini slim line. Two and, uh, two and um, three quarters square. A2 and slim line. Wow. And so there's the designs. And I like that they have these colored too, so you can you can see those are really pretty. Make great little medallions. They can junk journals. Oh, that's pretty. Windy rows. There's like kind of some tulips. That does look like stained glass. Those are really nice. You know, they make really nice, um, easy designs that can be used with a lot of things. That it's not just real specific, which I appreciate. Uh, that falls, that's going to be a big old crash. All right, I'm going to see if I can get the rest of it done. So we only have two videos here. Got to speed it up, Rhonda. This is Embossing Folders Kit Summer Getaway. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm already liking this. Oh, Y'all are laughing at me opening this stuff. I guess Boo Boo Kitty gave it up. Oh, yep, he's up there on his throne on the very top. He's sacked out. So, slimline, mini slimline, two by two, A2. So, look at these. 
Do I see those? It's a little hibiscus, and that's um, waves and a sun. I have like a little island feel. Flowers, butterfly. Love this. Let me put a... Love that. That would go with so many things. I was thinking um, Wizard of Oz, too. That would be fun with the um, Wicked Witch or the, no, Dorothy. You know, like, anyway. So, travel. There's the world. North America, South America, sort of. Flowers. Oh, this would be fun to do that technique um, where I put down splotches of color and deboss it. And then add the black over it. We'll have to do that again, but that, that would be a pretty one. And then this is um, um, kind of a sea theme. And citrus. And oh, loving this. So there's your travel. Yes, please. All right. And here again, those would go with so many different things. Keep on moving. Let me move these two over here. This one is Stencil Kit Retro. What's this? Oh, this is a um, auto ship. I believe this is an auto ship. Yeah. Let's see here. I'm pretty sure. open this and see if this is the um the glitters and stuff okay well maybe not so there's a spatula and that let's see what we have here ah. oh those are pretty colors looky looky i love those together retro as i was gonna say retro colors so this is glitter paste and glitter paste this is copper and rose but yeah very retro and I love the big spatula, or scraper, I should say. I like that, put that back together. And then we have stencils, lots of stencils. Let's check this out. We got a book here, glitter paste, tips and tricks. And oh my, look at this. Wow, we. Very interesting. So we'll have to see what the what is. Oh yeah, and these are very retro. Oh, so you kind of layer them up. Okay, the different pieces. <gasps> Is that open again? Nope, it's just thick paper. Oh, this will be fun. Look at this one. Yeah, likey, likey. All right. Put that over there. Boo Boo Kitty's awake now. He's bathing. Anna Griffin, Bubbles and Branches stickers. Bobbles. Bubbles. I do that kind of speed reading thing from back in my college days. It was so funny. I, um, when you're in nursing school, it was, well, back then it was a prerequisite. You had to take a speed reading course, you know, because you had so much reading to do. Well, you know, you're in this little cubicle. Now, this is back when you were in this little desk cubicle thing and you had this little projector and it, you know, projected up on, in, on the part in front of you there. And anyway, and then when you got all done, I mean, it was just, you know, a paragraph about yay long. And then when you're done, you take a little test. Well, I mean, I was 19, 18, 19 years old, and I knew everything. Well, I could not pass those little tests to save my soul. So my instructor walks behind me. She said, oh, my gosh, Rhonda. She said, no wonder you can't pass these. And she cranked that sucker up. Because what it does, it just shows so many words, and then it clicks, you know, and shows so many words, clicks, and shows so many words. Well, it, I had it down really low and so you'd read like I don't know you know see Jane run <laughs> I mean you know it wasn't that but see Jane run then it would click you know see Bobby roll down the hill click and she's like oh my goodness but what was happening is I would read that and then in between I was like okay what am I gonna wear tonight to dinner and then it would click you know see Bobby fall down the hill well, I wonder if those shoes, I wonder if those pants are clean, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then he'd go to the next one. Well, I had so much time in between to think about other things that I was not retaining anything. So when she cranked that up, you couldn't do anything but read and think of that. So we did that and I was acing everything right and left. 
<laughs> but that was so funny because I was thinking, oh, I'll pat, you know, do slow and no. Anyway, that was always a funny story. I tell myself because it was just like, I knew her, I can hear her voice. You know, Roger, no wonder you're not passing this. I sure was after that. So anyway, I, I read that way a lot of times now and I just skip over stuff and that's not good because then I end up reading stuff that's not there and, um, or it may be really comical. <laughs> and I go back and go, oh, I didn't say that. Like I said, I make up words because I see, you know, like the first two letters and the last two letters and I make up what's in between. All right, so we have Bobbles and Branches. Oh, very retro. The pink. So we have a little Saint Nick there. Lots of bobbles and branches. Anyway, I love that. Like I said, that's just, oh, look, a little partridge in a pear tree. Just very vintage-y looking. Okay, did we get all that done? Okay, got a few more boxes over here. Oh, I need to hurry. Okay, just two more boxes and I think we're done. I think I've got a big one over there, but we'll do that one another time. Hummingbird stickers and sentiments. This was just, I think these were on sale and, um, Either I liked them and wanted more, or I'd been thinking about them. Really? So, well, why are you not giving this up? Lord have mercy. See what happens when you try to speed up? So, oh yeah. Okay, noise alert. I gotta open these and show you because these are just really pretty. big noise look oh and sentiments hoping that you feel better soon you are simply the best um wishing you sunshine and happiness oh those are pretty look at these aren't those gorgeous oh man yeah very nice What is this one heavy? This one is Anna Griffin. Oh, these are cards, uh, different size cards that goes with that other collection. I mean, being on sale with her cards, you know, I couldn't help. And I use these. Oops, sorry, I'm banging you around there. I just love these boxes, they're just fantastic. But no, I can't keep them, I can't keep them, I can't keep them. Okay, so these are like the same design as I showed you. These are just um, five by seven cards and envelopes. Okay, one more box and we're through with this shipment. Let me know if there's something that you would like to see me make sooner than later. And I will be glad to oblige. Ooh, this is Diamond Press Accessory Kit. What kind of accessories do we have here? <gasps> oh, yay. It's our little stamping platform. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, noise alert. We're going to be using this and testing it. These are little shammies. We have a blue chamois and a pink chamois. Okay. Oh, and this is a little stamping platform. Well, you know, I probably shouldn't say it, but I hope the Misty Woman doesn't go and sue her or sue Diamond Press because she sues everybody. I know there's Misty lovers out there, big time Misty lovers, but she has su sued everyone. That's why you don't see any of these out there. So this is not... Um, has the foam on the back. It's not real heavy duty by any means. Um, I was just looking. It goes straight down. There's no gap there. So, you know, because it needs to be, well, I mean, there's a little lip there where you would put your, your paper. But then when you put your stamp, there's like no clearance at all there. There's a little bit on this side. Hmm. Because you would, you know, kind of need that. 
I don't know. That's interesting. We're gonna we're gonna give it a whirl. And um, I mean, who knows? Maybe the best thing I've ever used. And we have stamp cleaner, water based cleaner. And then we have a hockey puck. And we have some um, tape, I guess, to hold things down. So I'm anxious to try this stamp platform. Okay. If chamois is dry, wet with water, wring it out. If chamois is already wet, skip to uh, step two. Use damp cloth to clean ink off stamp. Rinse, rinse chamois off with water. Wring out extra water and place in included Ziploc bag to store. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have enough stuff. We're going to give this a whirl. This is um, pretty small. Uh, let's see what size it is. Uh, this is seven in... Looks like seven and seven eighths. I'm going by total. Uh, by seven and seven eighths. So it's a square. And your actual inside part is just shy of seven by seven and three eighths. Okay, this is interesting. Has a little has a little divot right there for you. Uh, might be great for traveling, uh, but you can see it's, you know, it's pretty small, but if you're a card maker, that's, that's all you need, and I like that there's not a lip over here. It's got a little catch in the come along. Um, I like that there's no border over here because you could use bigger paper, so if you were stamping on a slim line or something, uh, it could hang out. That's why I don't like certain other brands because you're, you're limited by that space. So, okay, well, that's interesting. That's a good note to uh, leave on, and we are going to give this a workout. And like I said, if there's something that you saw in the last video or this video that you would like me to uh, make sooner than later, then um, let me know, and I will shove it at the top of the list. So thanks for hanging out with me, and until next time, bye for now.